Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So I had a very busy morning as you can see from the background. Yeah, kind of getting a head start because after tomorrow I can't film here anymore because that's when hubby surgery is. So I was starting to put up my fall decor because since I won't be able to film here you won't be able to see my background. <laughs> I'm still not done. There's still so much more. So much more but if I don't stop now I'll never finish and I'll never get this video started so yeah and it's already 11 50 <sighs> yeah yeah it's kind of not a happy morning yesterday while I was working which I was supposed to work today Sunday I was there working I had heard my mom sent a message because I do have, you know, I have ringtones for different people so I knew she had sent a message. So a little bit later I'm in the middle of cutting my bread so I decided to look at what she said and my grandpa died. Which is her father. Yeah. So that completely... I don't want to get started. But yeah. So I was able to take the day off today because of that and now this morning now with my grandma yeah <laughs> at least they're together now well I didn't think I was gonna cry in this video but yeah yeah we're now in the groups chat with my cousins We're sending pictures memories yeah, she was always someone who always had to had have her red lips. She was infamous for that, for having her red lips. Yeah, I got that from her. I got that from her. Yeah, at least they're no longer suffering and they're together. It's just sad. Yeah, so I'll have today, tomorrow, and Tuesday off. Yeah. Alrighty, so putting myself together, I think I've I removed my eye cream. <laughs> removed my eye cream, yeah. Just did my skincare. Have some glitter. Yeah. Yeah. A little sad, but <sighs> sending more pictures. <laughs> yeah. All the memories but I mean they lived a pretty pretty long good life pretty good she was about 90 something I think him because he was born in 1927 yeah so a day apart all right let me put myself together bringing this guy out again I'm actually just having juice. I think it's orange juice. Pineapple mango. That flavor of orange juice. Yeah. So I didn't completely finish here. But like I said, it's just, it's a lot, it's too much. Still have more. Yeah, and I'm never gonna get started. All right, so for today's video, I did wanna go ahead and do this guy kind of wanted to do a dupes video a dupes video because I just hauled a few items and turns out they're kind of similar they're kind of similar and completely different price points completely different huge price points so we have the NARS basic instincts 2 chi quad from Ulta this is an Ulta exclusive yeah this is the number two which brings it's because the first one brings more pinky shades, orgasm, and I'm not into those kind of shades. This one is more my taste, which is kind of a, see the bronzy color, kind of a nude color, a very orange color. And this guy is $39, but I had also hauled these for $2.99, or during the sale it was $2.39. Which this one and this one. I swatched them 
next to each other and they're very similar very similar so I kind of want to check them out kind of on the cheeks there's two blushes so I can't really doing one side on one so yeah kind of want to try that out <sighs> motion detected yeah motion detected so yeah want to give that a try and then see some other little goodies because I also have some liner glue I want to kind of battle them between the the one that I have been using which is from Kiss Lash Glue Liner I think I do have one from it's a high-end one so I kind of want to compare them so kind of a comparisons video affordable dupes versus high-end so if you guys are interested in seeing how they compare if you can actually get the affordable one affordable one better because they look the same then go ahead and keep watching all right so I went to my drawer and it's actually the lily lashes which I still haven't tried out power liner lash adhesive eyeliner yeah it was that one which I also had in that drawer waiting the Maybelline Lifter Gloss, have that, wanted that with the Fenty, which I still have in my drawer. But yeah, this is the NARS. Really, really beautiful. It was mainly these two, which is mainly the colors why I wanted this palette would be for those two. So, so these are from Nika K New York very very inexpensive this is the blush duo so for this one so I think they're just by numbers ND 5 which would be for the shimmery orange and then for the matte orange would be the ND 6 yeah which one was it this one yeah <laughs> would be this guy which yeah swirling my fingers so much in there I'm starting to get hard pan so yeah I actually started swatching it with a brush to kind of pack it on I'm gonna swatch those two so let me go ahead do the NARS this one just feels dry so exhibit A and Taj Mahal Think. Exhibit A Taj Mahal. So let me go ahead. It just has a lot of pigment. <sighs> and let me leave a space for the other one. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. And for blush. It swatches like an eyeshadow. Yeah. But that one I'll have to be careful. Have to be careful with that one. So let's see. Yeah, completely. It, can, it feels different. It feels different. Just putting my finger in there creates heart pan. Since this one is shimmering, not a lot starting to. Yeah, definitely a difference in pigment. Oh. <sighs> Whoa, that hard panned. Yeah. So we do have those are. Oh my god. So I'll say mm, a tiny, tiny bit. Maybe this one's a little bit more orange. It's a little bit more golden. Slightly. So, yeah, because it's getting hard pan. Where's the brush? So I 
kind of messes it up. It's, yeah. Let's see if I can scrape off. I'll say pigment wise, the NARS one. Whoa, you know? the NARS wow but probably on the cheeks you could get a similar look yeah all right yeah, I don't think I'm trying to film this today but it's already 1209 I have to go send a fax because apparently these people don't believe in emails so faxing it over, who has faxed these days? Yeah, definitely wanna try out those. Have to see which eyeshadow palette. Cause I have a lot. Yeah, and I have been buying some new ones, so let's see. So it is now the next day. I was here prepping, getting some other items together, because I also Saw some other items I can do together, like the Nabla Cutie palette, the Analog versus the Wet n Wild In Love with Coco. Since I haven't tried this one, haven't tried this one yet. Did try the blue one once. Did that because I saw swatches of both of them and I was like, hmm, looks similar. I was here thinking I could do the Morphe Liquid Lip in Spicy versus Long Lasting Liquid Lip in Miami Fever from Ofra. I think I just remembered they no longer make this. <laughs> I think they no longer make this, which I don't know why, because this color is gorgeous. So now I have to rethink this. The Maybelline Lifter Gloss in Pearl versus the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk. Really pretty. Then for bronzer and highlights since both in here the benefit cheek stars reunion tour we have hula and cookie hula and cookie so for cookie because i was watching samantha last night and she was wearing cookie and my immediate thought was catrice it was catrice the supreme rose beam got that and then for the bronzer the physician's formula butter bronzer haven't pulled this one out in a while. But swatching so many, I thought this was the most similar. But my brother's in town, which he's the one who lives in North Carolina, and we're seeing each other in a little bit. He just called me. So now again, plans have changed. So I don't know when I'll be able to do this video because now surgery for hubby is tomorrow. Yeah. So I'll see if can do showing applying the makeup and I guess do a voiceover yeah it's the only thing that I can do and I guess in the meantime <laughs> find a different replacement I just hate that this one is no longer in existence because I love this color love this color it's gorgeous and fall is coming got my pumpkin shirt again this one's from Target, which I want to get some more like this. I was at Walmart yesterday, didn't really see anything. Pretty much the women's section, all it had was still bikinis. There was decor, which I did buy. That pumpkin over there. Yeah, put up some other little white pumpkins, little tiny ones over here. Bought something else, bought another little truck. Yeah. We're getting there, but I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. A voiceover. And we're back the next day to try this again for a third time. So I have dropped hubby off for his surgery. And since nothing is open right now, just had breakfast. It's now 6.50 AM. So 
let's try and do this all right so I've done my brows I've primed my lids so gonna get started with the eyeshadow palettes all right so go ahead and get started with let's go with wet and wild in love with coco so I'm gonna do this on this side so we're gonna do expensive dupes got my little mirror <laughs> Right, gotta see an equivalent color so seems like a mixture of two different shades so this one is the lightest one here so I guess kind of mixing these two tap here and just a little bit of this one since it is a little bit more red Stepping into the other side with contact sheet. Kind of. Let's see for camera roll. into the deepest shades for this side wet and wild and then a dark room for this side I feel like they're definitely both buildable darker shades. So I've primed my lids, so now it's time for the shimmer shade. So for the Nabla, we'll do the 35 millimeter, the gold one. And then the other gold on this side with Wet n Wild. I feel those two are the most similar. Even though the most beautiful shade out of this one is Overexposed. Yeah. I'll say that one is the best one. So I'm going to go ahead and use the same brush on both sides. Just wipe it off. See, they're definitely very similar. Very similar. Go ahead, clean this up a little bit. So we can move on to the lash glue liner. I did a lot get stuck there. Alright, so on this side, we're gonna go ahead and do the Kiss Lash Glue Liner. And then on the other side, 
the Lily Lashes Power Liner Adhesive Eyeliner. A little bit thicker, first time opening. Alright. Yeah, this one is, the Kiss one is longer, which I think I like makes it easier easier to create a wing so I guess let's get started on this side I'll be trying out the AOA Studio 3D Foaming Premium Natural Lashes in Camille. Just trim them. So let's see. Because they were long. And they're long. Oh my goodness. I think I put them too far in. Yeah. But this lash glue I've used many, many, many times. And I do really like it. So. First impression would be the other one. They're so long. Yeah, definitely too far in. I can feel it. I'll fix that one and I guess try the other one. And now time for the other side. Again, I completely forgot about mascara. Applying a little bit of mascara prior to the lash. So let's try out the Lily Lashes. Let's see. All right. Seems to be on there. Did a little baby wing here, filled in with liner to make a little bit more black. All right, so go ahead, do that. And then I guess come back with complexion on. Come back with some complexion. Alrighty, so I went in, where is it? Right here, the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Radiance Concealer. That's pretty much what I do. Apply it in concealer areas and then just blend it all over. Powder under the eyes, Yate London Watermelon Burst Setting Powder, which not much left. This would be my second one. Then towards the pore areas, the NYX HD Finishing Powder in Mint Green. Got that one, and then the rest of the face, the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter, Instant Reach of Setting Powder in Butter. So I went on the lower lashes. For this side, the Wet n Wild, I tight lined with the darkest shade. And then mixed these two to buff out. And then on the other side, I tight lined with Dark Room. And then buffed out with Contact Sheet. Just that, a little bit of mascara, which typically I use this one, which is the Kosas. Yeah, it's already gone. A little one while I was applying it, which this one is practically dry. I was applying it. I smelled something weird. It smells like bad cheese. Oh, like a mixture of cheese, dirty laundry, dirty underwear. Yeah. So she's done. She's done. For the eyeliner, did the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner in Joyride. 
and kind of tie in those kind of I guess mauve colors up there in the crease. Oh, that mascara smells bad. I've had it for a while. Ugh. All right. So since we're looking a little pale, looking a little pale, it's time for some bronzer. <sighs> that scent. All right. So on this side, we're gonna go ahead and do the butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is in deep bronzer. Actually, did use this yesterday. Did use this yesterday all over the face because my brother was picking me up early. Did not expect that and kind of had to rush do all my makeup really really fast complexion wasn't as good as I would like it to be but I had to get ready fast all right so for this one seriously need some color just do one half yeah this side definitely looking better I needed some color it's actually been a really long time since I used this one so time for the other side would be the benefit hula bronzer I think maybe for this one I need a little bit more building because the other one is the deep bronzer. So yeah, it's like pretty pretty similar. Definitely looking better. So, now for blush. Blush. So, since we have two, thinking maybe one is a base, the other one kind of has a topper. Yeah, since one is matte and the other one is shimmery. So, start off with Exhibit 8. Exhibit A on this side, and on this side, the ND006 Duo Blush from Nika K. This one. And extra careful because I see the NARS one is extremely pigmented. So, I think I'm going to do this one. From Bling Brushes, the F24. Oh my god. Ooh. Try to remove it on my magic eraser as much as I can and then just blend. Yeah. This one might be geared more towards deeper skin tones. But I just love that color. I will say very smooth. Yeah. So for the other one, I need a fluffy one too. Do Shana be Miami, the blush brush. Also, <sighs> trying to see looking on the cheeks.
feel like this one has more pink in it and this one more orange in it. Yeah, let's say so. But pretty similar. I think I would have to point it out, but you wouldn't really notice. I don't think anybody would notice unless I told them I'm wearing two different blushes. So now time for, which usually I only have one. It's the one I use as a topper. So I guess I'll just clean it. So now jumping on to Taj Mahal. Do a little bit kind of as a the high points. Oh. Definitely can see that orange sheen. Yeah. All right, so time for the other one. which would be NDO05, that one right there. other one had more pigment. Yeah, this one definitely had more pigment to it. This one I have to dip in a few times to get the same results. Oh, there we go. I like this one better. Right, so I felt it a little bit more and it feels a little bit more, yeah, a little bit more similar. Just this one takes a little bit more building than this side. NARS is extremely pigmented. Yeah. And I will say with this one also, this one started getting hard pan. You can see it there. Just like the other one was when I was swatching it with my finger, which I had to scrape off. Yeah. So I guess maybe more inexpensive products. Or I think any would get hard pan. Just, I guess, a little bit easier with more inexpensive products. Yeah. But I definitely think you can... If you can't afford this... Yeah. Very, very, very similar alternative. And... You get these other two also. So, at the end, you also get four. You get your four, so... It would have been nice if this one was a little bit different, but I like these kind of shades, so there's that. Yeah. All right, so time for highlights. So, like I said when I saw Samantha's video, I saw her description, she was wearing the cookie highlight. I just thought her skin looks so nice. So, I thought I would go ahead and do a cookie highlight for this video. And my first thought with the affordable side, dupe side, Catrice. The Catrice More Than Glow Highlighter. Supreme Rose Beam. I think this one is just a little bit more pinky when I swatched it. Because they do have another one that's a little bit more gold. This one is just icy. Just icy. I did go in with the lips. The lip liner. The Moira Lip Exposure Pencil in Chestnut Brown. Yeah, just to have that everywhere. 
I think I'm also going to use these highlights for the eyes as well. These are similar. <laughs> Already glowy, but... It's been a while since I used this one. Guess this side. And now, Catrice. Yeah, what I like about this one, you can definitely tone it down or tone it up. Cookie is definitely really beaming. We'll say the cookie one looks smoother. This one definitely emphasizing more texture. Yeah. You can see the texture. It just looks smoother on this side. Maybe because on this side I added more. are just long so now for the lips so I decided to go with these two since yeah the morphe liquid lip and spicy is no longer available last I checked it wasn't available anymore so I couldn't link it so I'll do this one which I did wear yesterday getting ready quickly so this is the Fenty it's the Mademoiselle Matte lipstick and Freckle Fiesta. Tiny letters. <laughs> kind of a burnt orange. Love this color. Yeah, I really like this. I'm thinking maybe I can do this one for work. And then pair it against the ColourPop Luxe Liquid Lipstick and Puddin'. So they both are kind of like a matte finish. Yeah. Again, it's like a burnt orange. So, which I think this one is more like a whipped formula. So it's gonna take a little bit more building. This one is more pigmented. But I love this color. So this one's a little bit more like a coral pinky. Not too different. See so this one's just a little bit more it's a little bit darker. A little bit darker, a little bit more orange. But still a similar vibe. Yeah, just a little bit darker. So for gloss, continue with Fenty. We have the Fenty Gloss Balm in Diamond Milk and then the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. And pearl. Definitely have to wipe these before putting them back in. Didn't didn't bring a tissue. So let me start with Fenty Beauty on this side. Yes, 
same milky look, very glossy. And then here you can definitely see the difference in lip color. It's just a little bit darker. Thing is with my lip colors, like 98% of them are high-end. So not a lot of options. Alrighty, so I overheated, but yeah, camera overheating. Nothing new. But here we do have the completed look with the expensive side and the affordable side, the high-end, the dupes. Alright, so a quick rundown, quick rundown. I really like this look, especially the orange cheeks, the orange cheeks, yeah, still obsessing over orange, yeah, though I will say I do like the NARS better, I like the NARS better, but you can definitely get the same look, just building it a little bit more. With the affordable one, yeah. For the eye looks, they're really, really similar. Yeah. Very similar. You wouldn't think I used two different palettes? Because there are some shades that are different. The like that one, the overexposed shade. Definitely don't have one like it in the cocoa. But as you can see, you can get a similar look with each. Yeah, because the only one that would be like that duochrome would be this one. But the other one has a pink shift. This one is just more taupey. Yeah. This one does have nine shades. And the other one six but as you can see extremely similar yeah some mascara here I was trying to remove but it will not budge yeah because this guy is five dollars five dollars at Target so I forgot how much this one is I think it's 20 is it 20 something for the Nabla Cutie Palette. Yeah, because I did get this in my Trend Mood box. Yeah. I would say the liner, which is now full of the Fenty powder, the Little Lashes Power Liner, it does work. I like how smooth it was gliding on. It was really nice since I do like the longer one, but. I guess in that department it worked out better or I don't know if maybe on this eye I just have more wrinkles because it kind of <laughs> skipped this one was more of a clear line but price wise because the other one is eight dollars the kiss one I'll stick with this guy yeah so you think was this one in a trend mood I think so I think I got this in a trend mood box along with some lashes so for the price, definitely kiss. Definitely. Got for that. So for the highlight, I do really like both. I like them both equally. Yeah, I just, I like both equally. I like them both. I don't know, maybe the brush for this one. I did use two different brushes. It is more of a wet me cookie yeah but I love both I love 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 both which would be from Catrice which how much was this guy five is it five for this guy five or less yeah 
So I think I'm gonna go with Catrice. <laughs> no, but I love both. I love both. I do. I do like the lashes. I just think they're a little bit long. They're very, very long. <laughs> but I do like how you can still see the shadow look. Yeah. So for the bronzer, I also love both. But yeah, that butter bronzer. It glides on really nice. But again, like I said, I really like both. Yeah, I do really like both. But if you're trying to be affordable, definitely the butter bronzer is a really, really, really good one. So for the lips, I do also really love both separately for their own reasons, but I want to be honest, color wise, I feel like this one is more nude. Yeah, for me personally, I love this color. Love this color. Love these kind of shades, especially now with fall coming up. Even though it means nothing here because it's still extremely hot. I love this one. But I've even worn it for summer, so works works great for both. Love this one. And right now it's a four, it is still seven dollars, so it's not bad. Because I think these are eight, if I'm not mistaken. So go with Fenty if you can. And then for the gloss on the lips, they feel the same. Do they? Feel a little bit of grittiness here. A little bit. Yeah. Do like how this one applied applied better. But honestly, on the lips pretty much the same. Yeah. So again, if you're going affordable, just get this guy. But on the lips, just looks like a clear gloss. Yeah. Alrighty, so that was fun. Just took three days to try and film this. Yeah. And for now, this will be my last video. My last video, at least here. Because yesterday with my brother, I was filming little bit of shop with me but I still have to compile some more clips together I was at Walmart the other day I have a clip there still have to get a few clips together to mash that one up but yeah this would be it for now he has to spend husband has to spend four weeks just with that thing on after the surgery kind of like a sling pretty much like yeah like that around his waist for a month without moving it so yeah let's see so I guess for now we'll see when we see each other again I don't know hopefully it won't be too long hopefully I can still do shop with me's I don't know how it'll be with unboxings I just don't know but yeah that would be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!